might sound strange, Ray, but when you're at home and you're watching Arsenal play, your blood is pumping Arsenal red, you're wearing your Arsenal hat, do you ever catch a glimpse of someone like Wilfred Zaha and wish he played for your side? Do you ever wish that the deal had actually gone through, that Unai Emery, who was a manager at the time, was able to sign him? Well, I'm sure Emery would have loved to have uh, someone like Zaha, but again, it's down to the board and, and money available. I don't know what the situation was with uh, the funds they had behind the scenes. I know for a fact Pepe, who they bought, you know, they, they'd done it in a staggered way, you know, probably paying 15 million a year, uh, which suited the French side as well, where he come from. So probably Crystal Palace wanted the money up front, which Arsenal probably couldn't have done at that time. Uh, because they need to replace him. You know, if you're losing one of your best players, or, or in fact your best player, you need to replace him. So the deal wasn't probably right for Crystal Palace if Arsenal couldn't pay it up front. Uh, but certainly he's a, he's a real talent. You know, he got frustrated tonight at times, you know, where they're trying to kick him. And you saw David Luiz go in at the back and he reacted at times. But we all know what a special talent he is. When he's running at you, full pelt, he's a real hard player to play. I wouldn't like to play against him as a defender because you know... He makes things happen. You know, he goes down, he gets free kicks in good areas. He can go down, get penalties at times. So, yeah, he's a real talent. And uh, don't get me wrong, I, I would love to have seen him in an Arsenal shirt. I think with my, with my Palace hat on, I'm delighted Wilf stayed. I really am. But as a neutral, if you're looking as a neutral fan, I'd love to see, and I still would love to see, how far Wilf can go in the game. Because I played with him as a kid um, and he was always fantastic. He's in the top three players that I've ever played with. You know, the ability this lad's got is, is incredible. He's very passionate, as you said, and he said this the other day. He's prone to react. But I've seen a different side of him this season. I've seen he's very single-minded. He got a bit of stick last season for the lack of goals and lack of assists. But this year, he seems to just want... He gets the ball and he wants to attack the goal. Bit of a disappointing game today, I feel. I think he would have said the same thing. He, as, a, as much as Palace nullified their creativity, I think Arsenal done a good job on, on Wilf. I think they tried to they tried to frustrate him, which they did. He was he was getting frustrated, throwing his arms around. But I just think, and, and I honestly believe, if, if Wilf today was in the Arsenal team, Arsenal would have won. And if Wilf was in the Arsenal team, I think they'd be challenging a lot higher up the league if this season if he was. That's a huge statement. Darren, who are the other two in the top three players you've uh, been with? Uh, obviously, Alan Shearer, um, the main man, and uh, Patrick Cliver. I played with him. He was coming towards the end of his career at Newcastle. But what an outstanding player. And um, for a midfielder, the guy had the best touch I've ever seen. So to, to make runs off him, he'd always find you. I was unfortunate never to play with Ray. Otherwise, I think he'd be in my top three as well. <laughs> Thanks, Darren. Uh, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. no, oh, Alan Shearer's got, he's still got the goal scoring record in the Premier League. So, you know, he's still uh, an absolute legend, Alan. 260 goals. You probably think the only active player oh, that, can, um, that can match it would be Harry Kane in terms of active play.